Hey guys, I thought I'd come on here and share with you what I've done with my little um, cabinet top so far. So I did go ahead and cut that uh, scarf that I had left over from the uh, garland and um, I ironed it, cut it in half and I went ahead and used it as the, you know, the, the little table cover on the top and I'm okay with that. You know, it's a little more red that I, than I wanted because my, my wall is burgundy, but um, I, I'm still pleased with it. So, oops, sorry about that guys. So what I have done is um, I put together these little um, candlesticks. The, the actual candlesticks I got at the 99 cent only store during Christmas. And these little votive cups on the top were given to my daughter during Christmas um, at one of the places she volunteers for. And so I've glued that to the top. And guys, I did not use E6000 because I may do something different with this, you know, in, in one of the other um, holidays. So I did not, use, I only used hot glue. So I put some bling around, a couple of rows of bling around the, um, you know the the base of the votive uh, candle holder and I did make a bow out of the ribbon from Dollar Tree and I put a paper rose right in the center and so I still need to get candles for this but I thought they came out pretty cute and then this guy let me um, I just threw that rose on there just um, you know just to, for an accent but this little guy um, is one of the um, one of the little signs from the Dollar Tree, and um, I just put some glitter around the edges. Um, it hasn't finished drying quite yet. All I did was put the glitter around the edges. I went ahead. I had these little ladybugs. I had three of them, and I used two of them for the the sign and I put glitter around the, um, the heart and I put stickles inside the letters of your. And around the, 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 uh, the little plaque, this pom-pom trim was of course from Christmas, but that was like two years ago from Dollar Tree. No, I'm sorry, not Dollar Tree, it was uh, Dollar General. So I just glued that around there and I had some lace in my um, in my drawer of laces, and I made a bow for the top, and I just glued the top on there. And I used the Dollar Tree heart vase. I think that's what they're supposed to be. Um, I used the heart vase, and I used a string of lights, but the hearts that came on the lights, excuse me just for a second, the hearts that came on the lights did not fit through the opening, so I just removed them and I'll probably use them somewhere else, but um, I tried to put them in the opening of the vase and, and they were just um, too large. But um, on the back, and again, I just glued this to the base of the um, flower, um, the flower vase but anyway so this is glued onto the flower vase but on the back as you can tell it's hollow and I just put a little bit of glue on the battery pack and um, and put it in the, on the back there I think it, it, it's great because I you know you don't have that battery pack showing so um, on off button is easy to maneuver if you don't have sausage fingers like mine but there, I turned it off so I don't have to um, leave it on if I don't want. I just turn it on at night as a night light. I can do that. And there we go, guys. That's what I have so far. And I'm sure I know, I know I'm going to be adding to it. But anyway, I need some more white in here because it's already um, too red. Even with the, um, you know, I don't know. I'm gonna turn the camera around and 
overall it doesn't look too bad. So there we go. Not bad at all. I may do another section of the house. Anyway guys, thanks for watching and I will talk to everyone later. Have a great day.